At one point I was somebody who would always say I'm gonna do stuff. Hey, I finally learned just shut up and go attack that shit. Shut up and go attack those goals without telling people you're gonna do it. Just zip your fucking mouth and go do it. Ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel once again. Six days out today from uh, running our first ever endurance race or running the Milwaukee Half Marathon. Intro of this video, I wanna talk about my three goals that I have in mind when it comes to running this race. Some that you probably wouldn't expect or think of. We're just gonna jump right into that. This is gonna be the intro of this video. 10 mile run included in this video and we have a arm and shoulder days. Gonna start out three goals for my first ever half marathon. Number one, as far as a time goal, I do have a, a time in mind. My time goal is sub two hours. The longest run I've done throughout my training has been 12 miles and I think that was like an eight 50-ish pace. That's kind of what I'm going for. I hope I feel great. I know this has a decent amount of elevation gain in the beginning along the lake. I think a lot of it is hilly and I believe you run on a big bridge that's in Milwaukee right along the lake. That has a lot of elevation gains. That might be a little difficult. I don't think this is necessarily a fast course. Honestly, I'm not really sure what to expect. I've never ran it before. I haven't ever talked to anybody that's ran it before. So. We're just gonna do our best. I'm just gonna push as hard as I can. We'll see where we end up. Goal number two, I would like to connect with five different people at, during, after the race. I feel like it's extremely difficult for me personally to find individuals that have similar goals, similar ideals. In the middle of a race, it's super fun from what I see to find somebody to pace with, to talk to, to, I don't know, just enjoy it with. Get out of my comfort zone, not only in terms of running like this, but socially, I have to get out of my comfort zone too. Nowadays, you don't meet new people. It's so much different than it used to be. It's all social media, this and that, but actually meeting people in person, I feel like it's extremely good for you, so we're gonna try to do that. Last but not least, personally for me, I, I struggle to live in the moment. I feel like I always focus on what's next and I struggle just getting into a special moment and staying in that moment and making the most of it. I kind of always try to jump to what's next. One of my big goals for this race is to take in the moment, be grateful that my body has the ability to do something like this. I grew up with watching a brother battle cancer who could barely get up and move at one point. Having legs that are able to uh, run and take me places like this, I just wanna be grateful for that. I wanna take in the scenery along the lake and enjoy that. I just overall wanna enjoy this race. I feel like it's such a cool thing to be able to do. I've never done this and I feel like starting this, I'm gonna be really addicted to doing this in the future. I'm not doing this to compete against other people. If I'm competitive with anybody, I'm competitive with myself because I do hold myself to a pretty high standards. At one point I was somebody who would always say I'm gonna do stuff. Hey, I finally learned just shut up and go attack that shit. Shut up and go attack those goals without telling people you're gonna do it. Just zip your fucking mouth and go do it. That's the only way you're going to get shit like this done. That's it. Fold race day vlog is coming uh, next week. Two days after this vlog goes out will be running the race. Stay tuned for that if you guys are interested in that. Let's get it. Other than that, hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of this video. Let's get into the rest of the vlog. Ladies and gents, welcome back. One week out from race day. We are taking on a 10 miler this morning. Got to get some G1M down. Just took a bunch of electrolyte tablets. Got our gels ready. Going to try out these honey stinger waffles. I haven't had these. Got our belt. And yeah, that's the plan right now. It's cold out, but gotta get some miles in on the road. Let's get warmed up, get a little more uh, carbs in us, and let's head out on a run.
street 10 a.m. This doesn't get any easier, but we're gonna do it anyways. Arm day, let's go. Let's go, arm, arm day. Let's go hit a workout. See you there. I said I'll pick you up at eight. Probably won't be away. Call yourself an Uber, babe. I'm gonna wait. No, I'll wait. Your eyes give off a toxic vibe, making me lose my mind. That's why I'm sitting in your room. Looks like Lil Uzi too. Thought I spelled the witch, but I feel stupid. Put a pretty answer in here, span. Planning this night, try to sue it off for a scam. I said I'll pick you up at a. Cry. 